Welcome, everyone. I'm Kimberly Boschman, and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the forecast for the full moon that's going to be occurring on November 15th or 16th, 2024, depending on where you live in the world. Before we get into the forecast, this, of course, is a general forecast. If you would like to take a look at your own personal numerology, to take a look at your own personal forecast for the upcoming year, then book some time with me. I would love to work with you. Also, if you book uh, anytime between now and the end of 2024, you will get the rest of 2024 as well as all of 2025 in your year ahead forecast. Okay, so uh, like I said, if you want to book some time with me, my information is in the description box below. I would love to work with you. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Life Path 11 too. So you all are going to be working with the vibration of the 36.9 at this illumination. And so for this energy, I would say, check your burdens. And what I mean by that is check in on yourself. What is it that you're taking on? What is it that you're carrying that isn't necessary, that isn't even yours to carry? What is it that you're taking on for whatever reason that, again, you can, you can release, you can set down, you can let go of. And, you know, that's sometimes easier said than done. But I would say under this, this full moon, it's going to be asking you to at least set it down. Set down what is not yours to carry. You can always come back to it and reevaluate if you want to pick it back up. But this is going to be a time where you're going to be asked to look at those burdens that you're taking on. You know, and that can be in the form of overcommitment. That can be the form of feeling like you are obligated to do X, Y, or Z. And so you're continuing to show up for that that perceived obligation that can be, you know, sacrificing yourself for someone or something. So many ways that this could come in, you know, taking on other people's baggage, other people's emotions, other people's needs, um, all of these things that, you know, 11 twos can do very, very well, <laughs> um, taking on what's not theirs to carry. This is going to be a period that's going to ask you to evaluate that and see where it is that you're carrying a load that is not yours to carry and that's weighing you down and that's keeping you from sort of stepping into and maintaining your highest potential and being the best version of you that you can be in this moment. So this is an opportunity to, again, set that down or to delegate, to release by delegation, right? So like delegating off what is not yours and giving it to someone, you know, who it belongs to and asking them to be responsible for it. Um, having those deeper conversations, having those difficult conversations, uh, saying no, right? Sometimes saying no is a greater gift than saying yes. So definitely think this is an opportunity to pay attention to what you say yes to, what you commit to, what you sort of overburden yourself with, or what you're already overburdened with, and release what is not yours to carry. Now again, so much easier said than done, but life will show you where it is that you're carrying what isn't yours. And then it's going to be up to you to, again, have those difficult conversations or to take that difficult action of releasing whatever that is. And you'll be surprised at how much lighter you feel and how much momentum you gain in your own personal journey because you're not being bogged down by, again, that weight that isn't yours to carry. The other thing I would say with this vibration is it's asking you to take a closer look at where can you ask for help? Or again, where can you delegate? So, you know, it's one thing to take on burdens that aren't yours or responsibility that isn't yours. Um, it's another thing to then complain about it without taking the appropriate action to find a solution for that, right? So if you're an 11 two who's out there, you know, taking on the world, quite literally, um, taking on everybody else's baggage and trying to find the solution to help to make it better, et cetera, et cetera. And then complaining about, you know, that work, you know, that's really martyrdom. And, and when we do that, not only is it disempowering for ourselves, but it's also disempowering for the other person. We're assuming that that person can't take on their own baggage, that they can't take on their, you know, do their own what, what, what's necessary. And so we try to do it for them. 
And actually, we end up trying to take their power away without that intention. So again, I would say, you know, where is it that you need to recognize where it is that you need help? And where can you ask for that help? Um, Where is it that you can delegate, you know, the things that aren't yours and ask for that assistance? And where is it that you can be mindful about where it is that you willingly take on those burdens, overcommit yourself, right? And where can you start to make some modifications to where maybe in the future you don't, you're not so quick to do that. Um, And through that process, you'll start to see that things become much lighter, much easier to maneuver through. The other thing here that could come up for you is the opportunity to keep your eye on the goal. What is your goal? What do you want? What's your next step? What is it that you want to move towards? And do you have the confidence that you need in order to reach it? And if you don't, then there's some work that lies there to be done. And it, of course, it's your job to do that. And you'll, life will show you where it is that you need that work. But to gain that confidence, to be able to reach that goal and to be able to share that goal. So there is a lot here where it can kind of push you towards that greater goal. And then also recognize where it is that you might have some work to do to find that confidence in order to reach it. This is a vibration that says, stay optimistic. Any loss that occurs during this vibration, anything that falls away at this time, remember, this is an an energy of sort of unburdening yourself of things that are not yours to carry. And in that process could come some loss, some release, some change. And just know that any loss is now necessary in order for you to step into the next chapter. Any loss that occurs at this time any release is because you do not need whatever is being released, right? Even though you might want it, you don't need it. And so the universe is taking it away, not to be punitive, but to clear your plate, to open you up, to set you up for this next chapter. So beautiful energy here, but it is going to require your own sort of personal, uh, deeper reflection and sort of recognizing where it is that you sabotage yourself by taking on those burdens that aren't yours, right? And that responsibility that isn't yours. Beautiful energy, but could be um, could be a lot here for deeper soul growth during this time. Anytime we work in a nine cycle, there's a lot of potential transition, a lot of elevation, um, a lot of recognizing what needs to be released so that we can step into something that's much more aligned. So beautiful energy here. Hope it's a great one. Take care, 11s. Bye for now.